Hello everyone, it's me once again. Today I just want to make a very quick comparison to my recently bought Double Zeta Gundam Verka uh, against the old one that I had. Now just to bear in mind, this I believe Double Zeta is the original design with this is the armored version. So I have actually disassembled all the armors as you can see. It's quite painful and I have to admit um, I have broken few pieces and this is a thing about Bandai um, the way how I put it. These are classical models that must have but regards to um, comparison to these two I would much prefer the um, the recently released this was released on September this year um, Bandai Gundam um, this is double Zeta Gundam, okay? So you can see the proportion-wise how it looks. Now this used to be the standard look, but now when you look at Vert Car version, it looks like it was how it's supposed to look. Now you can see the proportion-wise, this left-hand side, the original Gundam, um, double Zeta Gundam is more bulky, the shoulder is more wider, and um, I guess perhaps because of the slight left, you know, the slight armor on the left, which I find it very difficult to take it out, but still it's more bulky and it's shorter. Well, as they have actually put a lot of common sense on this for car version of uh, Double Zeta, that, which was early released this year. Now, just a quick uh, view on this. I'll show you the, um, this is the jet that is supposed to come out on the middle of this. Uh, the, the waist side, the body side of it. That's the beauty about the originals gone down. But if you compare these two designs here, you can see almost the the de level of details is already shown that, uh, let's see if it's, it could, okay. So this is more smaller, compact, but yet more effective, um, the way how it's designed. And, um, Let's see if I can zoom. Yeah, there you go. And one of the downside, obviously, for this new design is that it has an almost like an invisible iced effect wheels. I think they're just trying to um, encourage you that listen, there's no sense putting wheels. Let's just move on. Kind of bold aspect here. But um, what what's what's good thing about this is that the double Jetta for car really newly released that version, actually you get exactly the two same twin model, same build, same decals as well. And it's quite detailed and you can already see this is the original one that uh, you can buy and it's very childish made comparing to the original one. Um, and all the details, well, there you go. So not only that, but this is the double bazooka that transforms into a plane as well. This is the original double Zeta wireless. This is the, the um, for a car version. I mean, you might not be able to tell by a lot of them, but it is more compact, much smarter. I think the word smarter and more, um, it makes more sense by, by building it the way how it's re released on um, the recently released um, Double Zeta for a car. So I'm a great fan of Double Zeta for a car, by the way. And one of the reasons is that um, they, they build things as it's supposed to be. They build it as how we as a kid imagine it to be. And as a grown up myself, I, be I believe this model at the time the original double Zeta was about is about 20 or 30 years old um, but um, this one surprisingly is only three months old when it was so released on September um, so it brings you back to the good memories in in some way and that, that's why I'm a great fan of her car and I just want to show you the other models that I have now this is Shajabi and new Gundam these are both for car versions and I haven't got the original models. I always wanted to buy one, but since I own these for car versions of Gundam, it is just I'm just blown away by the level of the details and how great it looks. So I do want to greatly encourage those who have good child memories who want to compensate their loss of 
good childhood memories and want to own these again or want to buy new ones because you have you have known one when you were a child please do get the Vercar version these are really beautifully made um, models and you I can guarantee you you'll spend hours and hours I, I think I spent at least seven to eight hours putting all the decals these are the sticker decorations and obviously you need special glues to buy them um, but yeah um, I am very impressed with the Verka Gundam Double Zeta and and comparing to the other one well what can I, what can I say I mean it's just all these mess summarize it it all these joints are very loosened it just comes out so easily and it's very difficult to balance while as these are this is solid solidly built and one of the downside about Verka I'm always a fan of these real man like looking all these movements of joints finger joints while as Furka has separate bold um, fixed joints which I think it make more sense because it allows all the cannons and all the guns and beams to be attached in a very strong position while as if you're gonna have all these individual joints of hand hands which is more realistic but unfortunately the problem with these is that as you can see from New Gundam, it just can't hold the weight. It just goes down. So I think they have been very smart on the work car. But anyway, if you want me to look into more details, I just thought I would make this video because I haven't seen anyone making a comparison between those two. And I thought it, I want to be those unique one to emphasize why Verka uh, version of Double Zeta is worth it. It was released September this year, as I said. I said it many times on this video. Please do get it if you're a great fan of those old classic um, Gundam. And if you want to look at you, if you want them to look really good, get the fur car. So thank you very much for watching this video, and happy new year to everyone who's watching this. And I hope you are having a blessing time. Thank you. Bye.